Hello guys! Good afternoon! This is Teacher SP. Welcome to my channel. Today, I will be teaching you how to solve for the unknown side of a right triangle using a Pythagorean formula. Are you ready? So if you are ready, I'm ready. So please keep watching until the end of this video. So last time, I discussed on how to derive a Pythagorean formula. So, this is a continuation when we will be using the Pythagorean formula in solving for the unknown sides. I have here a right triangle wherein the angle Ma. C is 9 centimeters and then your angle B is 6 centimeters and the unknown side is the side A. So, we are looking for the side A. So, when we say side A, that is equal to the formula for that is equal to the square root of C squared minus B squared. Right? Okay, so A is equal to the square root of. What is the value of our side C? So, our side C is 9. So, we are going to write here 9 squared minus our side B, which is 6 squared. So when we say 9 squared, meaning 9 squared, we are going to multiply 9 two times. So that will be 9 times 9, that is equal to 81. So that will be 81 minus 6 squared means 6 times 6 that is equal to 36. So 36. So A is equal to, you have to subtract 81 and 36. So 1 and 6 cannot be, so you have to borrow 1 from 7. This will become 11. 11 minus 6 is equal to 5. And 7 minus 3 is equal to 45. So therefore, that is equal to square root of 45. If you have your calculator there, guys, get the square root of 45. So the value of square root of 45, that is equal to 6.7. So this is now the value of our side C. Uh, so by the way, side A. So, 6.7 centimeter. So, these are now the given. Did you get it, guys? So, let us go now to our example number two. If I'm going to give you, so A is equal to 11 cm, B is equal to 7 cm, you are going to find side C. Okay. So, Side C, it's still, we have to use the Pythagorean formula. And last time, we studied that C is equal to the square root of A squared plus B squared. Okay? So, we are going now to substitute the given. C is equal to the square root of. What is our the value of our side A? So, that is 11 squared plus the value of B, which is 7 squared. We know that 11 squared means 11 times 11. So if you are going to multiply 11 times 11, that will be 1 times 1 is 1, 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 so that will be 1, 1, 2, 1. But if you have your calculator there, it's, it's very easy. You just press 11 times 11, so that will be 121. Plus 7 squared means it's 49, right? So that is equal to 49. So C is equal to, so you have to add 121 plus 49. So 1 plus 9 is 0, 10, care 1. So 3 and 7, 170. So that will be equal to 170. So if you will get the square root of 170, what is the value there? So the square root of 170 in your calculator, that is equal to 
13.01 centimeters. So this is now the value of side C. Guys, if you're going to compare A is 11, B is 7, CM, C is 13. Sa tatlo na ito, still 13, the longest side, which is the hypotenuse. So, did you understand, guys? I hope that you learned something today. And don't forget to subscribe on my YouTube channel, uh, Teacher SP, like, comment, and click the notification bell so that you'll be updated whatever videos I'm going to upload. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye!